South Carolina had already formed its own independent government before the war had even begun. They no longer wanted to be led by a royal governor who had been appointed by the king. They elected their own leaders. Their government was led by the Committee of 99. It was made up of 15 merchants, 15 artisans, and 69 planters. The colony still had a royal governor in place, but most citizens preferred to think of the Committee of 99 as the colony's true government. In 1774, it was decided that the colony would put together a provincial congress to help make laws for the state. Delegates were chosen. However, representation was not equal. There were many more delegates from the low country than the back country. This new state government decided it would raise an army and issue currency. It also decided to write its own constitution. Not everyone in South Carolina was happy with this new government. Not everyone agreed with their actions. So the government sent a delegation to the back country in an effort to make peace. The people of the back country did not support this new government, but in the Treaty of 96, they agreed to remain neutral in case a war with Great Britain broke out. South Carolina had its first constitution written before the Declaration of Independence was even signed. It served as the foundation of the government for South Carolina. The Constitution set up a two-house legislature. The Low Country still had more representatives in the new government. Over time, the Back Country started to have more delegates, but the government was still largely run by the Low Country. After the war ended, it was time for the United States to build its own government. South Carolinians were involved in setting up this new national government. The Continental Congress became the first government of the United States. South Carolinian Henry Lawrence served as president of the Continental Congress for a time. He also helped work out the Treaty of Paris that helped end the war with Great Britain. After signing the Declaration of Independence, the Articles of Confederation were written. They became the first constitution for the United States. South Carolina quickly approved the Articles of Confederation. Some other states had concerns about the document. Under the Articles of Confederation, each state had one vote. During the war, this government worked well because all states agreed to work together to defeat the British. But after the war, the states had a harder time agreeing on what actions to take. States did not always agree on things like trade, currency, and taxes. The new government was too weak to be able to fix many of these issues. South Carolinian Charles Pinckney was very involved in politics. He thought the United States needed to have a stronger national government. Pinckney suggested adding amendments to the Articles of Confederation in order to make it stronger. In 1786, there was a rebellion in Massachusetts. People started to fear that things could tear the country apart. The rebellion was called Shays Rebellion, and it really worried many people across the United States. Government leaders started to realize that the United States really did need to have a stronger government. They called for another meeting. It would be held in Philadelphia. The purpose of the meeting was to amend the Articles of Confederation in order to give the United States a stronger national government. 